Hey guys, today I'm going to show you one of our top strategies on how to find the cheapest flights possible. This is a strategy that Diane used to find a super awesome deal on tickets to Easter Island, which are normally over a thousand dollars just for $200 each. And it's pretty simple. You just have to use Google flights and one other tool, which I'm going to show you. Google flights is one of the best flight booking websites because it allows you to see a bunch of different prices for different dates at the same time you can see two months at a time to see which are the cheapest days compare that to a lot of other flight search sites where you can only see a couple days at a time or they won't give you the exact prices they'll just give you a color range on if it's expensive or cheap so Google flights lets you do your overview research really fast the downside is it doesn't always give you the cheapest, cheapest flights possible. It'll show you what day is the cheapest to fly on, but it won't give you the cheapest flights. And for that, I'll show you one other tool. But first, let's look at how to find cheap flights on Google Flights itself. All right, so here we are in Google Flights, and I wanna start by giving you a few different scenarios on how you could search for your flight. The first is if you know exactly which dates you need to fly on, but you haven't decided on a destination and you wanna look for all your cheap options. So now we're into Google Flights, and since you know your dates, but not your destination, we're gonna put in your home airport. We'll say our home is Detroit. We're gonna leave this empty for where to, and then we're gonna choose the days we wanna fly on. Let's say we wanna travel from December 14 to December 21. Click done, click search. And so what this is gonna do is going to bring up all the destinations for those dates that start in Detroit. And so you can quickly see which ones are the cheapest. So you can zoom out and you can go all over the world basically to see what the prices are at different places on those dates. And if you want to go to smaller airports, you can keep zooming in and you can get more options. So I'm zooming in and out here. Then up here on the top, you can add a bunch of filters to find exactly what you're looking for even faster. And so here are all the different filters. You can see how many stops you want. You can see, you can choose a certain airlines if you want to. You can set your times that you want to travel, um, the flight duration. So if you want a, a super short flight, you can set it low. If you don't care how long it takes, you can set any direct duration. Um, number of stops, you can change the things here as well. If you're on a budget, you can also set your price. So let's just say you're leaving from Detroit and you only have $500. You can set it for $500 and these are all the options that you have. Not bad. If you're really flexible, you can also search for multiple airports at the same time. So let's say you're willing to leave from Detroit or you're also willing to leave from Chicago, which is the case for us sometimes when we're traveling back to Columbia. And so I could search, I could type in the code for Detroit and then put a comma. And so now it adds there and now I can do search for another one, Chicago, let's put those two. And so you can search for two airports at the same time and it'll give you all the different prices. From there, let's say you choose, you wanna to go to Las Vegas, so you click on Las Vegas, then you can go here and go to view flights. And from there, if you want to, if you want to see if maybe the price is gonna go up or down, you can click on track prices here and set email alerts and you'll get alerted if it goes up or down. So that's scenario number one, where you're flexible on your destination, but you're not flexible on your dates. So now look, now let's look at the reverse of that. You know where you want to go, but you're flexible on your dates. And so let's say we're going to leave from Detroit, the same as before, Detroit. So we're going to leave from Detroit, the same as before. We want to go to Jamaica, let's say, Jamaica. And we're flexible with our dates. So we're just going to click on the date here and it should load all of the different dates. So now we can see a bunch of different days at the same time, the prices for different days. You can quickly see which days are the cheapest to fly on. And so by looking at these ones in December, the cheapest looks like 238. If we go out to January, we can see we've got some cheaper ones, 223 here, 207. So we'll click on 207 and then we have to pick the return date and to get the cheapest price here, it looks like we have a couple options for the 207. So let's go to the 31st, click done. 
And here at the very top, you'll see the cheapest flight that you just saw in the month view. So that's a super easy way to see what the cheapest days are to fly on. But there's one more thing I want to show you, and this is how to get the absolute cheapest flights out of all the different strategies. Make sure to give this video a like if you're liking it so far, and let's get into the last strategy. So the last strategy is if you have the ultimate flexibility, you are flexible on your dates, also, you're flexible on your destination. You just want to find the cheapest, most awesome vacation possible. And if that's what you want to do, let's start over, go back to the main page of Google Flights. Google Flights. From here, we're going to drop down and click on the map here. And once we're on the map, we can play around with these different filters. So the only factor that we know is what airport we want to leave out of. So let's say it is we're still doing Detroit. We want to leave out of Detroit. We want to see the cheapest flights everywhere, but we are flexible on our date. So here we don't have to put a date. So it's automatically showing one week trips in the next six months. So it's going to show you all the cheapest flights for one week chunks in the next six months. But you can also change it a little bit and you could say, I want to go on a two week trip or a weekend trip or a one week trip, but only in January. And so you can mess around with the dates like that and this gives you even more search power. You can do all the same filters you did before, filter for price, filter for all those different things. Now this isn't just showing US remember, like you can see stuff from all around the world and choose where you want to go. Another thing, if you don't want to see the whole entire world, you could say something like, I want to leave from Detroit but I want to go to South America. And so it's going to search just South America for one week trips in January and you can adjust that as needed. And so it lets you filter through tons of prices and find the cheapest destinations and cheapest dates at the same time. But there's one more thing to get even cheaper prices. But before we get into that, I want to stress that Google Flights is only one of several tools you can use to get the cheapest flights possible. I'm putting together a new video of all the best tools that you can use, some that most people have never even heard of. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to get alerted for when that video drops. All right, on to the last piece of the puzzle. So like I said before, Google Flights lets you search a bunch of different dates super fast to see what the cheapest options are, but it doesn't necessarily find you the cheapest prices. To find even cheaper prices, let me show you an example that I found already. So for example, let's see, let's say we want to go from Boston and we want to go to Berlin. We're flexible on the dates, so we're going to see what the cheapest dates are. December is expensive, obviously, so we're going to go out to January. Here we have one that is 19th to the 26th. Or no, look at this. The 20th? 20th to the 24th. So those are our dates. It says $483. 20 to 24th. Now we have the dates, we're going to go over to another site, which is called Momondo, and we're going to plug in those dates. So we're going to type in Boston, Boston, we want to go to Berlin, what were the dates we had? 20 to 24. So we're going to go to January 20 to 24, search. And so the reason you could do everything on Momondo if you wanted to, but it just takes a lot longer to load everything. And so if you don't know your exact days and you have to switch, search many different days, it's going to take a really super long time. But if you start with in Google flights, you can do it really fast. And so it's still loading. Now here we have 469 and in Google flights, the cheapest one was 483. So we got a little bit of savings by switching over to Momondo. Um, normally you might find even more savings if you're searching for more premium class tickets like business class or first class. But even, even in economy class, sometimes just a quick one minute search like this can save you 10 or 20 or 30 bucks. So let's look at this deal for a second. When we do that, it, it looks like it's opening up 
directly within directly with the airline which is good sometimes when you use Momondo it will give you prices from a different like flight search engine and normally if possible it's best to buy directly from the airline instead of another search engine because if you have to change your flights it's a little bit more difficult and more hassle to work with a third party than to work directly with the airline and so if the cheapest price happens to be with a third party double check directly with the airline to see if they have the same price listed on their website if not you have to decide if it's worth it if you're likely to have need flexible flights or not it's better to go with the airline if you're for sure gonna go and there's nothing that can happen to stop you then you can go with the third-party site and save even more money guys this is just one of many cool tricks I want to show you if you like this one you'll also love these 10 little known ways to travel cheaply there's a bunch of them in there that most people haven't heard of before make sure to check that one out if you like this video give us a like and we'll see you in the next one bye bye